now we're moving on to the other side. We're starting in exactly the same position. Why am I going to do exactly the same thing on the other side? Because that's what I remember from the other side. We're sticking to the format. We're sticking to that foundation and the plan of the haircut. Again, don't lose sight of your plan. We have to plan this all the way through so that we have consistency from side to side and consistency throughout the whole haircut. So again, back on the sideburn area, I'm going to be starting to take this through, making it nice and short. Again, we have to take into consideration the growth patterns on the hair. He has strong growth going backwards. So again, we're going to be combing it forward to take the hair out of its natural position so that it blends nicely when it returns to its natural fall. Now, because Mr. Sato here has a lot of wave in his hair, we're encountering some difficulty. But if you approach it in a methodical manner and you see where the hair is growing, we've got multiple directions of growth here. So we just go opposite to the direction of growth. Here the hair is growing straight down, so we'll go straight up. Here the hair goes back, we'll go opposite that. Above it, it's going the other way again. So we just have to deal with the hair in a methodical manner to get the job done and get the result that we're looking for. Again, always take a step back, look at your work, check it from side to side, make sure we have consistency. Again, we're talking about the ear here. We have to keep the ear out of the way. We don't want to cut our clients. Make sure that we nice detail around the edges, no loose hairs, a nice finished look. Again, opposite the growth pattern. The growth is going backwards, so we're going opposite the hair. You have to work the hair until it speaks to you, until it says, yay, that's the way I want it to look. Again, take a look at the shape from the front for your client. Make sure everything looks good and continue on. As we move along here, we're also going to be detailing around the back of the ear. Always make sure you're holding your ear and it's out of the way. Like I said before, multiple times we don't want to cut our clients. They can cut themselves at home. They don't need us to do that. So we're professionals and we need to do a professional job. Again, now we're moving into the back area behind the ear. We want to keep consistency of length with what we've done in front of the ear. So there's no steps, no weird weight patterns or angles or lumps or anything like that. Going for a very nice finished look. So again, behind the ear, we're lifting the hair out of the way. Go against the hair growth. Like I said, he has multiple patterns in his hair. So we're trying to counteract that by counteracting with the direction of the comb. I think at this point, I'm gonna use a little bit more blade glide on his hair just to mist it slightly, just so it can help the blades go through the hair and also help me comb it because he has multiple textures and it's also wrapping around the comb. So we're just gonna use a little bit more blade glide to smooth out the whole look. Now again, we're working through this side into the nape area. Like I said previously, we're taking this down, but I'm not worried about super cleaning up this area because we're gonna go through with our nape razor and finish up the hairline so that it looks good. What we're looking for right now is consistent th consistency through the section of the hair so we don't have any weight lines, bumps, or anything like that. And again, like I said before, you're in the earlier, talking about the plan, we wanted to leave a longer area through the back here that we can texturize with the feather razor. So again, back to our shear over comb. Cutting through his hair, make sure it's nice and consistent lengthwise. Evenness from the front to the back. Now again, because we have very strong growth this way, 
I'm just going to comb it opposite direction out of its natural position just to take the hair up and get a nice consistent weight through the hair in this area. Looking pretty good. You've got to keep working it until you're happy with it. You have to be happy with your work. You can't just settle for something. You have to make sure that you're completely satisfied. We don't settle, we do good jobs. Again, we're going to move them around a little bit just to look at the whole picture. Here we have a little bit of weight, which I'm going to take out. Okay, working through his hair, making sure the hair talks to us. And the hair is happy and looking good. I'm just going to change sides here to get a nice consistency on this weight. Again, I'm not trying to super scissor over comb this hair tight in here, but I want to get somewhat of a blend between the two because we're going to go in from short to long to textured in this area. So what I'm going to do is lift the hair up, pull it out of its position, just over the scissor over comb a bit to get a nice consistent feel all the way through that area. The other important thing about scissor over comb is knowing when to stop. Most people can go on and on and on and on with scissor over comb and they end up, oh, the client has no hair left. Know when to stop, but that goes back to the foundation of the beginning, your plan of the haircut. If you don't have a plan, you can't build a good building. If you don't stick to the plan, then you've lost sight of it. You have no structure anymore. Okay, just working through the nape area again, making sure that everything is sitting nicely. Nice shape. Don't forget, you've always got to keep stepping back and looking at your work. You have to look at what other people are going to see when they're walking down the street. You can't just focus on one single spot. Okay, working the scissor over comb still. Making sure you're happy with the result. Evenness, consistency, no lines, no bumps. Don't forget, keep lifting the client's head up. Seeing how it looks when the hair is in its normal position where your client is going to do their hair daily. And making sure that your look is finished and complete. satisfied with the beginnings of my short part of my haircut. So I'm just going to go through just a little detail, take the lengths out that I'm not liking at the moment. Again, this isn't finish, this is just preparation for the next part of the haircut. As we move on through this haircut, what are we going to be doing next is going through the parietal ridge area, the occipital area, and then through the top, creating as much texture as we can. We're not necessarily going to be taking off a lot of length because we're going to utilize the length that he has, but we're going to be using the feather razor to create a lot of texture in there. Feather razor currently has a couple of blades, um, one with very fine teeth for lots of hair removal, and also one with a little far apart space teeth to give you a better kind of texture. So we're going to demonstrate both of those as we move on and then check out the techniques and tips that we're going to use as we go through the top of his haircut with the razor.